What is real? asked the rabbit one day. Real isn't how you're made, said the horse. It's a thing that happens to you. This coat is from a book called The Velveteen Rabbit my, by Marguerite Williams Bianco, where a toy velveteen rabbit wants to become real more than anything in this world. Have you ever thought that your toys might be real? Did you ever wonder about your toys when you're not there? Do they become real and talk and walk like us? The story of the Velveteen Rabbit has taught me to believe that toys become real when they are truly loved. Would you believe if I told you that forgotten toys come alive to each other? The Velveteen Rabbit in this story does just that. At first, he is a simple toy owned by a boy who has lots of other and more exciting things to play with. His only friend is the old horse, who became real a long time ago. In this story, the idea of becoming real is very important to the toy rabbit. Life becomes much better for the velveteen rabbit when the boy starts to love him. But then, the boy gets sick and danger looms up for the little toy rabbit. What will happen to the rabbit if the boy is not there to love it? The velveteen rabbit was naturally shy and was teased by the other toys because he couldn't spin or wind up. Only the old horse was kind to the lonely rabbit and constantly assured him. Unlike mechanical toys, how he could become real. When a boy loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. That means the key to make your toy real is by loving it unconditionally. The story of the Velveteen Rabbit becomes sad when the boy gets struck by a terrible scarlet fever for days. The Velveteen Rabbit shared on the boy's sick bed, helping him fight off the illness. The doctor requests that all the toys, that all the boy's toys, should be burned the very next day, in order to clean out all the germs from the fever. The frightened Velveteen Rabbit thought to himself, "Oh, of what use was it to be loved?" and lose one's beauty and become real if it all ended up like this. This question of the story makes me think of all the toys I ever had and were thrown away because I loved them so much and they, I made them lose buttons or fur. It makes me wonder if I hurt my toys by doing so. This book has taught me to believe in the magic of loving a toy so much that it becomes real. After reading the story, I also began to believe that my toys may have feelings just like us. So if we love them, they must love us too. So we shouldn't forget about all the wonderful memories we make with them even if they start to look old and shabby. Thank you for listening to my speech.